Hundreds of farm workers gathered in Olympia, demanding change to the state's new overtime law. As far as agriculture goes, you know, everybody that works in the agriculture, I think we're all on the same page. I don't think you would find a single agriculture person that is in favor of the overtime rules. Father and son, Jose and Roselio Valdez, work in the pear orchards in Kashmir, Washington. They say because of the new legislation, their bosses have capped their hours at 40 hours a week as to not pay overtime. Instead, management simply brings in different workers to finish the job. It's impacting me. And I think every worker is feeling it in their pocketbooks, too. The law passed in 2021 and at the time drew praise from the president. It was enacted in phases and the limit for overtime pay dropped to 40 hours a week this month. That's eight hours a day. Now they're having to stay here 52 weeks a year to make the same amount of money or less. And in many cases, it's less than 40 hours a week. We've taken away their profit potential. Senator Ron Mizal, a farmer himself, says the new regulations will impact seasonal workers more than anyone else. We're asking for seasonality. We're asking for periods of time, depending on the industry, to be able to exceed 40 hours a week and not pay that overtime. As for the workers, they say it's their choice to log long hours when the picking is good, something they don't want to give up. The United Farm Workers of America is a labor union that testified on behalf of the overtime bill in 2021. They say the effort to keep overtime pay from farm workers is a racist effort. They say they'll continue to push for OT for all farm workers nationwide. In Olympia, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.